ponder the significance of Black History Month, I think of George Washington Carver. Why? Because he was an uncommon man among men of his day. From very humble beginnings, he overcame slavery, being an orphan, homelessness, and he ultimately became a world-renowned college professor, scientist, inventor, and even counsel to industrial innovators like Henry Ford. But what I admire most about George Washington Carver was the impact he had on my father. My father grew up poor. Without his father in his life, his mother moved he and his younger siblings from Mississippi all the way to California for better opportunities. My father experienced the same racism and bigotry that he saw in the South and was called the N-word in school and often had to fight his way home. His teacher saw this, so one day she gave him a book. It was the autobiography of George Washington Carver. My father said he read that book cover to cover over and over again. He said that book gave him a sense of who he was and who he could become. From that day forward, he said he walked a little taller and started to win those fights with the kids who called him the N-word. And eventually, they grew to respect him and even invited him to play on their school football team. My father went on to become very successful in life. He attended college, became a military officer and a war veteran. He got married, had three children, of which I am the oldest, became a facilities and mechanical engineer and an entrepreneur. Today, he's 90 years old, still married to my mom for over 68 years. And he's a grandpa, great grandpa, and patriarch for our entire family. And he is called Pops or Dad by family, friends, and business associates of all ethnicities. I believe George Washington Carver's life set in motion the trajectory for success in my father's life and ultimately my life as well. My father lives by these three principles taught to him by my mother by his mother and emulated by George Washington Carver's life. Number one, faith in God, because he is the final arbiter in the affairs of man. Number two, focus on your goals. And number three, ignore the peripheral noises in life. In other words, anyone and anything that says you can't because they won't let you. P.S. The teacher that gave my dad that book was a white school teacher. Thank you.